And we're back uh, with NRW. This is Lewis Bailey with the NEW, and I am so proud and excited to introduce to you Ellen Stern, uh, voice actress and director. Thank you very much for joining us on the show today. My pleasure. Um, so <laughs> I was looking at your history, and you started from the age of 12 and have such a wide background of anime, movies, uh, even even going into the realms of directing and acting. And writing. And, and writing as well. Uh, what was, how has that journey been like, uh, just from going from such a diverse change in your overall career? Well, you know, on my website, I say, if I couldn't create, I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. And creating is my passion, it's my life, it's my breath, it's my soul. And creating comes in many forms. It's like, do we run, do we jump, do we walk? We have all kinds of ways that we move, do we dance? Mm -hmm. And I think creating is kind of like that. It's just a different arm of the same experience. It's the need to speak. It's the need to say something that you really feel. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> the really uh, wise words of wisdom. Um, the, the biggest thing that I saw that really spoke out to a lot of the things that we capture uh, in terms of is is nerds of color and of of all races in terms of geeks and nerds, <clears throat> and the thing that I found that was very impressive and really outstanding is that you directed Star Wars to come to and be uh, dubbed into the <clears throat> Navajo language. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to to uh, create such a a amazing uh, <clears throat> product as such. Well, I do have to say that out of all the work that I've ever done, it's one of my proudest things that I've been fortunate enough to be a part of. Mm. It was not my inspiration. Mm. This was the inspiration of a man by the name of Manuelito Wheeler, mm -hmm. Manny Wheeler, who is the director and head of the Navajo Museum. Excellent. What has happened is that the Navajo language, just like so many of the other Native American languages, has become indigenous. And as a result, the people today in the Navajo community don't know their own language. Mm -hmm. The elders know the language, but if you turn on television or movies or radio, you don't hear the voice of the Navajo people. You hear English and every other language. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it was Manny's inspiration to do a movie which would exemplify the spirit of the Navajo people and be inspiration to the people and teach them and re-inspire the language. Darth Vader. That's on the date of the Nkota. Imperial Senate of Hyata Zetado. But he in age he had that is. Hello, don't fail us and that is in your highness. The age of Batman Yena stand a not at a nest in a chee that is la. Asian Jilia in la. Hola, hot issue by Yan's kitchen. She Imperial Senate is gone slow. Alderan go Kevin Yesha. Rebel Alliance for not chin. You watch your own shots. George Lucas was very beneficent and donated the rights so that they could produce this dub. <clears throat> That's amazing. <clears throat> and then I was approached to direct it. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and 
what kind of advice would you give mm -hmm. anybody who is trying to enter the f the profession of, of becoming an entertainer, whether it be a voice actress, a director, a writer, what would be the most important information and advice that you would give somebody? Well, first of all, you have to follow your passion. Mm -hmm. And that means if you have somebody who is discouraging you, nobody is going to d be able to because that's your passion. That's the fire inside of you. And if somebody puts out your fire, that's putting out your, your light. So <clears throat> follow your passion. And the other thing is, it's like with voice acting. When I started out, it was a very, very small populated field. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies. Oh, no, no. But now, Everybody wants to be a voice actor. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be a voice actor, and the field is so populated, study. First of all, learn to be an actor. Because a good actor is a good voice actor. Mm -hmm. Doesn't always follow suit that a good actor makes a good voice actor. But you have to understand the arc of creating a character. It's not just about making a voice. It's about giving a life to that character and making it very human. It's like when you go back to the early Star Wars. The <laughs> characters weren't that well developed. I mean, mm -hmm. of course they were great fun, but they weren't as developed. And now you look at the Star Wars characters, they're a lot more developed. Mm -hmm. and. I think if we look at Batman or Spider-Man and the way they used to be, and then you look at the origin stories that have happened, the origin stories are compelling and fascinating. Uh, and so if you want to be a writer, nobody can stop you from writing. When I was a little girl, my mother took the light, put, turned off the light at night. She, uh, she turned off, took the candle away from me. She took away the flashlight. I had an electric blanket. And for years, I wrote by the light of the electric blanket, that little orange dot. Mm -hmm. Nobody can shut out your passion. And if you want this, it's got to be something you want with all your heart all your soul, all your blood, and all your breath. And then nobody can stop you. And if this is what you want, train. Mm -hmm. Train. Learn from the people who are successful. Learn from the masters. Don't just take a class from a voice actor and say, oh, that's enough. I took a class from this person. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Learn. Study. Study all different kinds of acting. Because if you jump into the booth and you're not prepared, you're not going to have a professional life because the competition is fierce. So too with illustrating. Mm -hmm. Illustrate with your heart. Write with your heart. Don't stop and breathe and create and do what you need to do because that's your passion, that's your breath, that's your light, and that's your fire. Amazing words of advice and just powerful and passion overall. Ellen, thank you so much for this great opportunity to speak with you. And just, I, I believe the more that, uh, that you do just helps inspire everybody who is looking to be, who looks up to you and, and create such great works and thank great you. great projects as you have. Thank you. So. And may I also add, one of the things that I'm doing is I have created, I wrote, created, and am producing a sitcom mm -hmm. that I'm starring in, in with Richard F. Carr, mm -hmm. Stephen Tobolowsky. You've seen him a million times. He's all over the screen. 
uh, and Reeve Carney. So anyhow, watch out for my sitcom and follow me on Instagram, on Twitter and Facebook and interact with me so that you can hear about my sitcom. And actually just yesterday I found out because I produced a teaser that I won uh, I won Best Comedy Short for the Hollywood Film Shorts Festival. Oh, amazing. Congratulations with Thank that. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So follow me so we can be friends and I can help be a part of your life and you can be a part of mine. Oh, most definitely we will. Thank you so much for the time that you've given us today. Uh, once again, everybody, this has been NRW. Uh, Ellen Stern, wonderful guest to have on the show. Go ahead and follow her, uh, follow everything that she does. And as always, nerds rule the world and keep it here with all of our new content. And I was a nerd. <laughs> Take care. Bye. <laughs>